Oye mame, oye mame, oye mame, oye mame. Hallelujah. The harvest is now. The harvest is now. Tell me to John chapter 4 verses 35. John chapter 4 verses 35. Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. The harvest is now, beloved. The harvest is now. This is Jesus Christ speaking to disciples, telling them that, don't you all say, there are four months more until harvest. But Jesus says, look on the field. They are all white and ready for harvest. The harvest is now, beloved. The harvest is now. I love Jesus Christ's illustrations, his parables. I just love God. The harvest is now. Tell you what. In a cultivation world, having known a little bit about corn, maize, you plant the seed three to four months later, you should expect harvesting. And I believe Jesus Christ does not encourage us to approach the work of God the way we do our normal business. Jesus is saying the harvest is now. There's no need for procrastination. There's no need to put it away till summertime. The harvest is now. This is the opportune time. This is the period that is designated for evangelism. It does not matter where you are. It does not matter your position in Christ. It does not matter what title you hold. Beloved, the harvest is now. The harvest is now. You yeah, know, put it in a way, telling yourself that, oh, we just started summertime. There will come more opportunities. You're telling yourself that, oh, we still were threatening a little bit. Some people might put it away, put it away, claiming that it's too hot to go stand in the sun and evangelize. Put it away, put it away, it's fall. Put it away, it's winter again. And like, oh, I don't feel like going evangelizing snow. The harvest is now. The harvest is now. There's no excuse to put it away. Beloved, when Jesus Christ sees the multitude, he sees souls crying out for salvation. But when we humans, we see multitude, we see people that will never make it to heaven. We see people that we cannot do anything to save. We just raise up to condemn people at will. But Jesus Christ sees people, souls, yelling out for salvation. The harvest is now. There are a lot of souls in your family crying out for salvation. There are a lot of souls in your neighborhood crying out for salvation. There are a lot of souls in your offices crying out for salvation. There are a lot of souls at your workplace, in school, crying out for salvation. It's quite unfortunate that there are a lot of souls in churches crying out for salvation. The harvest is now. The harvest is now. It does not matter your title from apostle right down to usher. Everyone has a mandate. We signed up for this. The harvest is now. There is no, no need waiting for block party. There is no need waiting for summer activities. There is no need waiting for church picnics. There is no need waiting for some elaborated gospel artists to come in and we do a crusade or something pay ticket to go see no the harvest is now people are constantly paying ticket to go see sinners in the name of celebrities people are constantly paying ticket to go see some dumb sports in the name of entertainment the harvest is now let's go back to cultivation real quick in the plant world if harvest is procrastinated if harvest is put away, put away for so long. What happens to the crop? It either goes bad, pests, birds, rats, squirrels eat it up, or thieves will come pluck it and run with it. So Jesus Christ is telling you the harvest is now. If we don't evangelize today and now, people are going to be 
polluted by false doctrine, people are going to be stolen away from the kingdom of God into the kingdom of darkness by false prophets. If we don't evangelize today, people are going to take advantage of souls, preach them prosperity gospel, and rip them off. The harvest is now. The harvest is now. Beloved, I want you to take this reminder and pray, even as I pray daily, the Holy Spirit gives you massive opportunities, the simplest of conversations to win souls. You don't have to go to Bible school to win souls. You don't have to be a pastor to evangelize. You only need the Holy Spirit leading you to understanding the Word of God, showing you pick up lines to convert all sorts of conversation into salvation message. It's about time we see every secular message, every self circular conversation at work. Any conversation about weekend and all of that sports and lead them into a Christ-centered message. The harvest is now. You are no putting away, beloved. You are no procrastinating, beloved. There's no need waiting and waiting. Anyone that profess to be a Christian, anyone that profess to be a minister of God that tells you that, you don't have to say it like that. You don't have to condemn or judge people because you're telling the truth. That person is not of God. Anyone that is telling you that, give people time, give them time, they will also change like you changed. How are you going to give someone time if you don't get tell them what to work on? If you're not telling them what to work on, you giving them time won't cut it. The harvest is now. If we claim to be believers, if we claim to be obedient children of God, Jesus wants me to remind you, the harvest is now. May you come back to simple obedience. May we come back to fulfilling the great commission to go out and preach the gospel wherever we go so that souls will be taken from kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. Just as Jesus Christ sees people multitude and sees soul, souls yearning out for salvation, you and not should see friends, family, loved ones, neighbors, haters, and pray that we seize every opportunity to tell them the good news. I pray, just as it's written in Philippians 2 verses 5, let the mindset be in you just as it was in Jesus Christ. And his mentality and mindset is, the harvest is now. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God teach you into all truth, even as we live and walk in obedience. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen.